Now that a jury has returned a guilty verdict in the Corey Bigsby case, many have asked, where was Corey Bigsby's attorney, Amina Matheny Willard, on Monday, as the defence team began to present their case? It turns out Matheny Willard was ordered by a general district court judge to appear in person on Monday morning, hundreds of miles from the drama of the Bigsby murder trial in Augusta County, Virginia. In the city of Hampton, Virginia, the Corey Bigsby murder trial has ended in a guilty verdict. Bigsby, now convicted of murdering his son, has been the focal point of this legal drama, but an unusual procedural hiccup has shifted the spotlight, sparking a broader debate about our legal system's flexibility. As the trial began, defence attorney Amina Matheny Willard stood resolute, prepared to fight tooth and nail for her client. However, a seemingly unrelated event in Augusta County, hundreds of miles away, threw a wrench into her plans. A traffic court's decision there last week to require Matheny Willard to appear with a client on a traffic-related charge forced Matheny Willard to leave the Bigsby trial just as the defence began their case. Despite her pleas, the judge in Augusta County refused to grant a continuance. Had Matheny Willard not appeared, she could stand charged with contempt. The question arises, how can a traffic matter supersede a murder trial? It's a question that embodies the tension between procedural norms and the fair administration of justice. In the legal world, every court case is important, no matter how big or small. Yet one can't help but wonder if the scales of justice tip in favour of procedure over fairness in such situations. Upon arriving at the court in Augusta County on Monday morning, the Commonwealth's attorney informed Matheny Willard and her client that the case was not going to be called and was being dismissed. As we delve deeper, we find that typically general district courts, which are not courts of record in Virginia, will adjust their schedules to accommodate circuit or trial courts. Antoine Souter, the president of Black Lives Matter Shenandoah Valley, says he thinks racism and a hatred for outside attorneys is to blame. Souter is a plaintiff in multiple federal lawsuits against Augusta County officials, alleging civil rights violations. Souter said that the county doesn't like outsiders like Matheny Willard, especially when they win cases. Souter predicts the county will continue to mess with Matheny Willard for as long as she challenges their corruption in court. It's a winding path, fraught with unexpected turns and obstacles. In the case of the Bigsby trial, this procedural hiccup has undoubtedly left its mark. The defence was forced to adapt, to recalibrate their strategy in the face of an unexpected detour. And while the trial is over, the echoes of this incident linger, a stark reminder of the delicate balance between procedure, justice and judicial pettiness. So, where does this leave us? With a myriad of questions, certainly. Will Corey Bigsby appeal his conviction? Will a small county traffic court's decision to interfere with a murder trial put the Bigsby verdict at risk? As the Bigsby team considers their appellate options, we'll be there, chronicling every twist and turn, every procedural hiccup, and every filing that could upend this verdict. In the end, the Corey Bigsby trial is more than just a high-profile murder case. It's a murder trial where a traffic court judge in another jurisdiction prevented a murder defendant from receiving the services of his criminal defense attorney during his trial. And as we continue to cover this ongoing case and any appeals, we remain dedicated to shedding light on these complexities, never shying away from the hard questions, always seeking the truth. To stay updated on the latest crime and justice news, subscribe to Breaking Through on the Newsbreak app or at breakingthrough.com.